Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. My name is David Fishman. I am the head of marketing here at Lucid Imagination, and it's my great pleasure to welcome you to uh, today's webcast on Mastering the Power of Faceted Search, brought to you by Lucid Imagination. Today's presenter is Chris Hostetter, who many of you know as Hostman. Uh, Chris has been with us uh, at Lucid for uh, about six months. Before that, he was uh, at uh, CNET, uh, where he was uh, present at the birth of solar, uh, along with uh, some pretty significant accomplishments in uh, taking the idea of solar and making it work. Um, Chris also holds the land speed record for uh, overflowing the buffer cache in the uh, uh, Apache Solar and Lucene uh, user mailing list uh, with the speed of his response. Uh, many of you have seen him online, and uh, it's my great pleasure uh, to introduce uh, the real Chris. He does exist outside of email uh, to talk to us today about uh, fasted search. Uh, Chris, it's all yours. Uh, we're going to be talking about faceted search today, um, looking at a little overview of uh, our agenda here. Uh, we're going to start with just kind of a, a definition, really making sure we're clear what we mean when we talk about faceted search. It's a lot more common and understood now than it was uh, just even a couple of years ago. So I want to give some examples and really make sure people understand what the key aspects are. Uh, then we'll talk a little bit about uh, what, uh, how faceted search works in solar, what functionality is there, how to use it. Uh, might be a little uh, review for people if you're already sort of familiar with that. Uh, but then the meat uh, of the time I hope to spend is really some tips and tricks for taking advantage of some of that functionality in solar, things that might not be uh, immediately obvious to you um, as, a, as a user just based on the documentation. Uh, and then briefly we'll touch on uh, some performance situations that you might need to be aware of and uh, look ahead at some features that uh, will be coming uh, coming in the future, uh, future release of solar. Uh, if at any point you have questions, uh, please go ahead and post them in the, uh, in the little question box as part of the, uh, the webcast software. Uh, and we'll collect all that information up uh, at, the, uh, at the end and try to answer it uh, towards the end of the presentation. Uh, getting a message that uh, maybe people can't hear me, so I'm going to try and speak up a little louder. Um, uh, not really sure if I can get the mic any closer to my face, to be honest. Uh, okay, so let's dive in. What exactly do we mean when we talk about uh, faceted searching? Uh, first, let's look at some examples. Uh, this is uh, a web page from CNET.com. This is looking at a list of digital cameras. Uh, I've truncated it here so we only see the first digital camera in the result set, but uh, we've got some options up here for how we can refine uh, the digital cameras that we look at. Uh, we can narrow down by price, we can narrow down by manufacturer, uh, by resolution of our camera, and then there's some other options available to us as well. But for each of these, we have some indication of what's going to happen if we click on one of these links, how it's going to change the set of products that we see. Uh, another example, uh, also powered by solar, uh, is uh, the Smithsonian website. Uh, here, I'm looking at their, uh, their digital collection search. Uh, we have a search for Japanese art. We have the works of art on the right that we're interested in. Uh, and we have some options in our left nav here for how we can constrain what we're interested in. Uh, we can control uh, what type of media we're looking for, and we control what type of object that media is about, whether it's a book uh, or a, a photograph, something like that. Uh, and our third example is the uh, Lucid Imagination website. Uh, here we've got a search for the, the Lucene ecosystem, as we call it. Um, these uh, results in the right are documents that we've indexed. And over on the left, we have some information about how it's constrained, whether it's uh, starting with just which project we're interested in. Here we've narrowed it down, so we're only looking at results for solar. Uh, and then also where the source of that information comes from. Is it from email, is it from the wiki, et cetera? So looking at those examples, uh, let's talk about a definition. Uh, the best definition is this one from a guy named Keith Instone back in uh, 2004. Uh, he really clarified that uh, what people mean when they talk about faceted search or faceted browsing, as he puts it, it's all about the interaction style. It's all about giving your users a mechanism for progressively whittling down the set of objects they're looking at based only on the valid values. Uh, and this is really the key. It really breaks down to two major elements that we're talking about. Uh, the first is that there is no hierarchy implied. You're not forcing your users to interact with your data in a set order or a set way. It's not like a Dewey Decimal classification system. Uh, users can 
apply facets and constraints in any way that they want.